What time is it? Well, that depends. I don't really know if Adventure Time really gave us a specific time when it was Adventure Time. <laughs> but whatever. It's either Adventure Time or Mario Time! In this game, it's basically... It's basically the same. Hey, yo, Paisanos! This is Toon Gamer 23 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64! So, in the last part, we entered the 14th course, Tick-Tock Clock. And we're gonna go back for a couple more stars. So, let's see which type of, uh... I think I'm probably gonna go with, uh, number three this time. Okay, so... Get a hand. Okay. Use a hand. I guess, like, I could use a hand. Give me a hand. I don't know. I think I could have made, maybe made a little bit more creativity for that title. But it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're... That giant... Yeah, that's the star over there. Over yonder, okay. Oh, there's our, there goes our cat. She's a mess. Kind of like the... Kind of like our last one. Alright, so... Probably could have, uh, used the... Probably could have had the hand pointed to number nine for... A little bit more speedy transaction, but nah. I think uh, I think the slow speed is more my style. Slow and steady. That's how I like it. It's no guarantee to win the race, but uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. This ain't so bad. Alrighty. This is kind of getting tedious. But look, this looks like looks like we're approaching our stop. All right, gimme. All right, glorious. All right. All right. Gorgeous. Alright. Let's see, what does... Stomp on the Thwomp. Okay, I don't remember seeing any Thwomps here, so... Hmm. Yeah, we got up pretty high. And I think we're gonna have to go higher than that. I think that Thwomp is somewhere beyond upstairs, like in the attic of this level. Alright, so... Alright, so... I've actually, uh... Come to think of it, I haven't really seen much of, uh, of these kinds of levels in modern day video games. Like, uh, inside a clock, with all the gears and cogs and all of that. I don't know, it just really seems like that would be a fun level design to really, to really experiment on. Maybe even with digital clocks. It's nowhere near as intriguing as as traditional clocks, but oh, sorry, good sir. No need for being chucked over yonder yet, or technically at all. I don't really see any reason to be chucked. Okay, well, let's see. I think I'll have to. Double back. 
Okay. Okay, just more spondooly. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so I've made it pretty far up, but no sign of a thwomp yet. I gotta go even higher, I guess. Alright, that was an awkward camera angle, but basically everything about this place is awkward. Okay, so there was another star in that cage, but that's not what we're looking for yet. Okay, I just want to pretty high up in this level, and if I failed it... I, I remember fondly about falling all the way back down to the beginning of the level because I was careless. No, oh, that's still not... That's still not the star I'm looking for. Very confusing. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Alright. Okay. Well, that, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so... So, yeah. You can either be lucky enough to at least land on just something else further down, or be unlucky enough just to fall straight into the abyss and have to start all over again. Ah, that's... camera perspectives, this one is lousy. Alrighty. Let's try the cubes again. No! Ah! So yeah, this one's gonna take a little bit to, to actually get get somewhere. Oh, the triangular platform. Well, at least I chose the slow mechanic op option. I really doubt I would have had this much this much patience for the quick moving one. Man, there we go again. Man. Gotta take a bold risk. No! Oh! I swear, jeez. Could have sworn I had that ledge. So yeah, like I said earlier, the two words that describe this level are fun yet frustrating. But I guess the word fun is kind of, uh, it depends on the type of person you are. If you like, uh, these type of 
tedious puzzles that require time and patience, this is your level, but for everyone else, yeah, not so much. Alright. Okay. Do this. Do not be afraid. Okay. Made it. Alright. Very tip top. That's where we must go. Let's wait for these pistons, I guess. I don't really know what else to call them. All right. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thankful for the Mario perspective camera. I do not care for lack of two. Uh, with some certain exceptions, I guess. Okay, so. We're closing in on the very roof of the of tick-tock clock, so... Okay. Alright! Oh, what? Triangular rotating platforms? Okay. Those are a thing. Or I guess they're wedge-shaped. There's our thwomp. All the way at the very tip top of the clock, so. Alright! Gotta make sure that this. That this fire spewing a hole doesn't screw everything up for me. Okay, good. That, that hand negates out the flames. Okay, now just wait for this to just carry me across the abyss. All the way to Mr. Blockhead there. I honestly think that that's the nickname I would have given him as a kid. Since I wouldn't have known the real names of Mario baddies. Okay. Hey there. Long time no see. Haven't seen you since Womp's Fortress. Been a while. Alright! Took long enough, but we got star number four. Stomp on the thwomp. Or step on the thwomp. It really doesn't matter. Okay! So, we got our two stars for this part, so... I think we'll be able to wrap up TikTok Clock in the next part. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and if you would leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time on Super Mario 64, this is Toon Gamer 23 signing out. And you know, I think of... Come to think of it, the concept of being inside a digital clock... I wonder how that would work in modern video games. Hey, a guy can dream, can he?